Have you ever had your picture taken on campus? If so, it was probably taken by my guest today. He's a man obsessed with cameras. Today, we'll see if Elliot Mutton can decorate in 3D as well as he can photograph. Stay tuned. I'm Adam Widener, and this is The Treehouse. Welcome to The Treehouse, the show where we get messy, make mistakes, and do awkward things in public. I'm your host, Sadie Sondag. I'm joined today by campus photographer, Elliot Martin. Thank you for being on the show, Elliot. Thank you for having me. I'm super excited to be here. Um, been one, I was on season one of the show, and so it's exciting to be back as a guest. Yes, welcome back. Today, he will be telling us about his involvement in ACTS, SAB's new social media channel as well as his very fascinating obsession with cameras. But before we get to that, let's introduce today's craft. Today, we are going to be decorating sculptures. Each person has been given a styrofoam head, which they are going to be coloring and decorating to look like the other person. So my goal is to make this look like you and vice versa. We have yarn for hair, markers for detail, and even googly eyes. We have five minutes to complete our sculptures, and afterwards, a judge will decide who has done the best job. The loser has to perform a socially unacceptable act as a punishment that we've previously agreed upon. Now, let's get into it. Okay. So, first question. We gotta know, why do you love cameras so much? Well, um, I've been asked this question a lot, and it is interesting because I didn't watch any movies as a kid. Like, we would watch occasional animated show or something like that. But I really wasn't that big into movies. Um, what I got a lot of my inspiration from was from, like, YouTubers. And so people like Casey Neistat or Sam Colder, people like that, who did a lot of, like, travel stuff or just kind of run and gun camera stuff. I was fascinated by that. And so I really wanted to pursue something um, in that area. Okay, cool. Uh, this week, the Student Activities Board announced the Olympiad colors for this mm -hmm. year. You're on SAB. Help us understand why they chose those colors. So, well, first of all, it's very, very difficult choosing colors because there's only so many colors you can choose from um, in the spectrum of colors. Um, and so this year, we were trying to make it a little bit more unique. Um, you know, we kind of had the same kind of colors for a while. So this year, we decided to switch it up. Um, go with some kind of crazy colors, some kind of bright colors. Um, I will tell you a secret. Oh. We were thinking about introducing white as one of the colors, but sadly that that did get ixnayed for um, what I think is obvious reasons. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that would have been a very interesting color. I think it would have been too. Okay. So how did you get involved in SAB? Well, that's a, an interesting story. I originally was not interested um, in being a part of SAB. Um, I was going to events like every other person, just, you know, your normal normal thing. Um, but then um, Mallory Carver actually asked me to be the videographer for Olympiad. Oh, nice. Which I've wanted to be for a while. When I first came here, I was like, man, I would love to, love to be the kind of like videographer and make cool hype videos for Olympiad. Yeah. Um, and so being able to like actually be a part of that and actually like create hype videos that we can put out um, was how I got started. And then after that, the next semester, mm -hmm. um, Lauren, who was in charge of SAB at the time, was like, hey, do you want to just like be our photographer and be our videographer for like SAB events? And I was like, of course. And so then I kind of, from there, got handed the job. Nice. Okay, so, team. oh yeah, absolutely. Thank you. So Olympia kind of got you into SAB. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. And Mallory, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's really cool. So SAB recently renovated its look online. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about that? So that was a, that was a decision that, um, again, Mallory made. Um, it was one of those things where we felt like um, we were just getting a lot of, like people were saying like, oh man, the campus isn't promoting stuff very well. We feel like we don't really know what's happening on campus, especially as like students. Um, and so Mallory kind of heard those, those concerns um, 
And from that, kind of took it and was like, well, why don't we like promote the things that are happening on campus and like talk about them and like put it out there and have it be like a social media um, yeah. that can tell people about that. Um, and so that's kind of where that came from. And we started transitioning at the end of last year um, and then made the full transformation this semester. Um, okay. Nice. And so now it's like a full on, um, anything you need to know about campus will be on that. Nice. Page. It's called Axe, right? Yep. It's called HU Axe. Is it because like foresters and stuff? It's actually, the reasoning behind the name is it cuts away, cuts out all of the, um, oh, I'm forgetting the, the, the tagline now, but cuts away all of the miscommunication on campus. And so you know what is oh. happening on campus. So it's a pun. It is a pun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Um, how does your love for cameras connect with your involvement with SAB? You did already kind of explain this, but... Mm -hmm. So I, I am their photographer slash videographer slash promotions. Mm -hmm. um, so if you ever see me at events, it's because I'm taking videos or taking photos or that sort of thing. Um, and so, yeah, I, I love this, like, this kind of videography because it is, like, very quick and like mm -hmm. run and gun and like you're in the moment um, I also love concert photography and stuff like that because you just are kind of in this zone of like an event happening and you need to capture that event to the best of your ability okay I, I love that thank you for sharing coming up after the break our judge will decide who has created the best interpretation in styrofoam head form Previously on the Treehouse, Dr. Lance Clark lost the craft challenge. So earlier this week, he had to do stand-up comedy in the hub during lunch. Let's see how it went. Hey everybody, how are you doing? Yeah! How are you doing? My name is Lance Clark, I teach at Belmont Heights University. I'm trying to do some stand-up comedy, so I've got a few jokes for you guys if you're all right with this. What do you call a pig? It does karate. What? A pork chop. Oh. Hey, not bad. What do you call a fake noodle? An impasta. Yeah. Do we have any ag majors in the room? Wyatt, Wyatt, why did Wyatt the farmer win an award? Because he was outstanding in the field. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, why do bees have sticky hair? Because they use honeycombs. <laughs> I feel good now, I feel like I do on the road a little bit. Welcome back to the Treehouse. It's a moment you've been waiting for. Our judge will determine who has the best sculpture. As our judges walk in, let's swap our creations and see which one looks most like the other. Okay, here you go. Oh no. Oh yeah, a collar, I like that. I, I have right. green eyes. <laughs> All right, let's see these, uh... Let's see these heads real quick. Oh wow, okay. Um, I got got your bangs. Cut. I see the bangs. Mm -hmm. Got the glasses. I like that. The shirt. Uh, the hair. I mean, that hair is wow. spot on. You even got the, the stubble. <laughs> yep. Wow. Is that what that that's... is? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's stubble. Yeah. I got a haircut. Do you think I should go for that? Oh, uh, you know, may, it, it could work. It could work, especially if you keep the bangs. Oh, yeah. Um, Notice the earrings. I see the earrings. Yeah, yeah I got to keep it kind of short, though. So I'm going to have to go with... Uh, Ooh, I'm gonna have to go with this head. Yes! Dang. Woo! <laughs> Thank you, Jackson. Well, look at that. Elliot will be doing the punishment. As the punishment for this episode, Elliot will be asking people to take photos of them in and around the hub. But Elliot will make sure they are some of the worst quality photos they have ever seen. This is where the fun begins. That's all we have time for today. Elliot, thank you so much for joining us. Today. Tune in next time for another episode of The Treehouse. <laughs>